What is going on, everybody? My name is Jack McNeil, and I'm here to give a rundown on the World Series ratings and what to expect here. The Houston Astros and Washington Nationals begin a historic World Series, and if you are plugged into this thing, you are looking forward to these historic pitching matchups. If you're super plugged into this thing, you may be concerned about the Astros' management and wanting a better response there um, and some accountability. But that said... You are looking at the ratings, if you are, like myself for some reason here, uh, and interesting to see how baseball is doing on the national stage. Of course, last night, the MLB World Series game won the day. Uh, the closest competition was The Voice and This Is Us, which uh, did pretty well. But yes, they did get, uh, on the official sense, 11.6 million total viewers. Um, but it looks like that is going to actually be upticking as uh, generally those numbers when they first come out are not fully updated. So it, it might go up another million or so, but it, it likely will not reach last year's Game 1 ratings between the Boston Red Sox and LA Dodgers, two big market teams. But again, a not a, a bad night of ratings for uh, these two teams. And, and I am curious to see how they're calculating all the streaming that is going on to actually watch these games as well. Looking at recent history, uh, it seems pretty obvious, but the years in which we see these games go to six or seven games, or maybe we, the year we saw the Cubs win the World Series, you get uh, very high ratings the deeper this thing goes and the more exciting these games are. Um, and so again, it's never fun for the TV ratings for a clean sweep. Uh, 2012, the Giants versus the Tigers was a, was a very, very poor uh, ratings. And 2008, even though it went to uh, six games, uh, we saw really bad ratings in game four, partly because of a rain delay. That's the Phillies and Rays. So it is going to be based on a lot of variabilities. That said, it, it is clear that if this series, the way many people think it will, get to a game six or gets to a game seven, uh, the average rating for this World Series could be higher than last year's World Series between two big market teams, uh, the Red Sox and the Dodgers. So it's an interesting to watch. I'm interested in it because this is in the context of a conversation around how to market the game, the We Play Loud campaign, trying to appeal to a younger fan base, um, using YouTube TV and partnering with YouTube TV to actually um, host this World Series. Um, and, and so looking at kind of how MLB, MLB Advanced Media is looking to get into this next generation and boost um, ratings, but also interest in this game, with the understanding, of course, that that 18 to 49 uh, TV demographic is really what all of these networks are going after, and it's good to see baseball take the day, but if you're comparing it with, say, an NFL game or a baseball game, we still know which is going to win, and that's partly because of the localized nature, again, of Major League Baseball. They score really well in individual local markets for each team. Uh, again, MLB ranked first overall on cable in every Major League market in the United States, except Miami. Uh, this is partly because of the the number of baseball games, um, but again, like in the local regions, you got some fans that are watching their team and rooting for them. And if their team doesn't make the World Series, there's an argument to be made that some people may just straight up tune out. It's a long season; they don't care. That being said, this is an exciting playoff, an exciting World Series. We're witnessing some of the best pitchers of this generation go against each other, and we're witnessing uh, some of the most exciting young players. We saw it last night. Juan Soto step up. So. This is a potentially a perfect storm for baseball to market this World Series. Uh, and if it goes to six or seven games, the average ratings will likely be higher than last year's. But let's hope for historically watched World Series. Let's hope for the best uh, World Series we can possibly get. It's probably unlikely it's going to match the 2016 Cubs versus Indians. The Game 7, when it got to extra innings, that peaked ratings over 40 million. Baseball had not seen that in, in years, possibly decades, I believe. They had not had that high of a rated game. Uh, in a long, long time. Again, I'm pulling from a few different sources uh, on the ratings itself, some variety articles comparing uh, the ratings from one year to the next. And then, of course, the last little tidbit about the localized market and how popular baseball is within markets uh, versus the national overall ratings is pulling from an article by Juliet Love in the New York Times, How Popular Is Baseball Really? I'll attach some links in the description. I'd recommend it. It does a nice job talking about the national awareness of some of baseball stars and some of the interest in watching their teams versus the national interest in a sport like football. Uh, that being said, let's hope for a good World Series. Let's hope for historically watched World Series. Um, and we'll report back when we hear more on the ratings throughout the rest of the series. But thanks for watching. Let's hope for a six or seven game series. Thanks.